Hello traders, I'm Facebook Colette here. Today is Tuesday, January 31st, and I'm going to be analyzing the S&P 500, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I think it's pretty clear that we've been in a pretty bearish market. It looks like a downtrend to me, which makes me think that is a wave A. I think this move up is actually going to be an A, B, C, or B. And I think we're going to go down one more time, probably back down to the 50 or the 61.8 to finish off a wave C. Before we break structure and go back into that bull market. So let's head down to the weekly, which is where it's a little easier to see the pattern. We got a 1, we got a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5. I think this is the end of a wave A right here. I think this right here is an A. I think this is forming an A, B, C of B, and I believe it's going to go up again to make a wave C. This whole thing is going to be an A, B, C of B, probably going out to about the 61.8 before it goes back down to make that wave C. A, B, and C, just like I was showing on. On the monthly time frame heading down to the one hour on the one hour I think it's very clear this is an uptrend right here and I think this is the end of a wave a I think this is now going down to make an a B C probably going down to the hundred percent Fibonacci extension of wave a projected off the wave B to finish off this wave C a B C a B and then head back up to make that bigger wave C like I was showing on the weekly time frame. A, B, C of B. End of a wave A down here. So that is C. Let's head down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, I'm pretty confident the wave B is over and that we're now going down to make a wave C. If that's true, that's just, just going to keep making lower lows, lower highs the whole way down. I think the most likely place for this to go is that 100% Fibonacci extension that I was just showing on the daily time frame, which is even lower than we can even see on this chart. Let's see if we can zoom out just a little so we can see that. So the, I think this is going to end up going all the way down to probably this 100% Fibonacci extension way down here. So let's take a look at that on the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, if that's true, that means that this move down is pretty much just the beginning of a downtrend. It may make a pullback, but at the end of pullbacks is where I'm looking for sorting opportunities for the continuation of the downtrend. I'm only going to be looking for sorts, and I'm only going to be looking to go sort at the end of these ABC corrections. Just like this uptrend over here, ABC down and positive up. Now we're looking for ABC up and positive down, ABC down and positive up. A, B, C, down, impulsive up. Now we're looking for A, B, C, up, impulsive, down for entries to go sort. So that is my forecast on the S&P 500. If you have any questions or comments, you can find me on Discord. The link to my free Discord is in the description. Thanks and happy trading.